and I'm going to talk a little bit about fussy cutting fabric. So when we're fussy cutting fabric, we want to make sure that we have fabric that has an interesting element to it that is of interest to you and that is also going to fit in the space that we're trying to uh, get it to fit. So I brought an assortment of fabrics with me just to give you a little bit of an idea of how, what to look for when you're fussy cutting. So actually let me grab this back. For this particular project we're going to be putting some type of pattern in the middle and I want the flamingo because it's tropical and I like it and it's pink. So I'm taking a piece of acetate plastic and this is actually just template plastic and I used a scrap and I've put this on top of the piece that I want to fill and I took a sharpie that I had handy and I just traced it and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we're really only looking to isolate that element in our fabric. So I have a traced shape and I'm going to use this as a way to find a really good pattern to use in my project. If you don't have access to making a template like this, you can use a clear ruler and I'll show you how to use that also. But anything that you can see through is a good tool to have. So I'm going to look at the scale and the actual topic of the fabrics and I want to look at flamingos. So I have a couple of different flamingo fabrics here and I'm going to look at the different sizes and scale and I'm going to audition the, the ideas of the designs that we have just by putting our template over our fabric and you can move it around and say I can put one flamingo in here, you can have two offset. Um, if you want something a little bigger you can try this flamingo but I'm going to cut his head off and this is basically what fussy cutting is. Now when you are choosing your fabrics you want to make sure that you have a little bigger piece of a fabric because you're going to be cutting that piece that you highlight and then you want to make sure you have a big enough piece to include seam allowance. So to look at something like this pentagon shape, if I put it right on this shape right here, it's not going to have enough uh, fabric for my seam allowance. I'm going to look at a different flamingo and this pattern has some different sizes. If I lay this right over, I'm going to cut his legs off, but I have some nice negative space around this flamingo. I can even use the smaller flamingo. You can turn it around because of course you can use your block in any way that you'd like. You can turn it around and turn it to the side because it's square. So you can play with this. This is a fun, um, a fun little exercise with, with any fabric that you might have. So as an opposite, I'm going to show you what it looks like with something that's not that interesting. You wouldn't necessarily fussy cut something that doesn't have a distinctive pattern um, or design element. So something like a polka dot or just a plain background, you don't need to fussy cut. That wouldn't be um, of any interest, but a flower that has a pretty center is, um, is an element that you could. So I hope this makes sense as far as specific elements. Um, I just want to show you quickly what it looks like if I look at a stripe. Now this is a, a wide stripe that's a little bit of a regular piece and if I put my point along this, the vertical stripe it would make a really interesting element um, to fussy cut. So anytime you're looking at your fabrics you can um, use a template and just audition.